شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصل Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How to make young people interested in engaging in social work? We as human beings are gregarious individuals. We are part of the ummati of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we are part of this humanity. And it is very, very important to understand that if you want to leave a legacy, you got to improve the quality of life. There are those that are more fortunate than you and there are millions more that are less fortunate than you are. What is important? I will suggest five ways in which you could engage young people. You need to call them together for a meeting. And do not sermonize or pontificate or lecture to them. Ask them, if you look around the society, what do you think the needs are? Allow them to workshop it. Then ask them, what do you think we should do to alleviate the situation? Get them involved. Allow them uh, to take this to a logical conclusion. They'll get tremendous joy when they are left on their own and they have a degree of autonomy. The second important thing, and it's not necessary in that order, is to speak about this beautiful example, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophets and the Sahaba. What they did, how did they spend the time? You know, none of them ever spoke about donor fatigue. And in the end, do we not want people to pray for you? To say, Alhamdulillah, Ya Allah, forgive this person. This person came to me when society ostracized me, when society left me on their own. The third important aspect is this. We've got to create in children a sense of generosity, a sense of sharing, a sense of caring. Initially, it is done extrinsically. Afterwards, it's done intrinsically, where they themselves have a tremendous joy. The fourth thing is this. Allow them to shadow someone that is involved in community work. Mentor him, mentor the children, do some research, ask them to do some research and ask them to give feedback. Last but not least, very importantly, this is a very, very a critical point. In the end, we got to understand it is only through Allah's mercy that will attain Jannah. And that mercy can be manifested in people that you have helped lifting up their hand and saying, Ya Allah, forgive him. He gave me hope. Forgive him. He made a difference to my life. This is Idris Kamisa saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. والحمد لله رب العالمين